Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Daphne emulator for your RG350 or Pocket Go 2 device so you can play Dragon's Lair and Space Ace. Sound cool? Let's get started! First, I want to show you where to get the instructions. Go to wagnerstechtalk.com. Go to Retro Handhelds RG350 Tips or Pocket Go Version 2 Tips. Or you can click either one of these icons. And it'll take you to one of these pages that are specifically designed for your device. So, if you go to Daphne here, you'll see all the instructions. The instructions are pretty much identical between the RG350 and the Pocket Go Version 2. First, we're going to go here, and we're going to right-click and Save As, and we're going to download the OPK file. This is the Daphne.opk. And then we're going to go ahead and insert the micro SD card into the computer, and copy it into the app subfolder. If you don't have an app subfolder, create one, and copy the OPK there. As soon as you pop it in, it'll show up on the Emulators tab. Alright, now we're going to right-click and go to the Daphne Emu. And we're going to download the Daphne emulator. So we're going to click the zip. And download it. Once downloaded, we'll right click it and go to cut. And we are going to create a directory called Daphne. So we're going to right click and say new folder. We're going to give it a name of Daphne. And we're going to double click in here and paste that file in here and then we'll extract it to this directory so we use 7-zip extract here and now we have all the files in the directory to go by these instructions you will need a copy of dragon slayer 20th anniversary special edition or equivalent my copy was purchased from ebay anyway let's go on to daphne loader we'll go ahead and launch it go ahead and allow it to update and after a brief bit here, it'll be updated, and we'll click OK. And everything's updated. Now we're going to launch Dragon's Lair. So we'll pop in our CD or DVD. These are all the ones that are supported. Click OK. Now it's going to grab a lot of stuff from the internet. So we'll go ahead and fast forward here. Yes, it took quite a while, so I had to <laughs> I had to fast forward it a hundred times the normal speed. And then after that, it had to go through a validation process. This is where it's checking to make sure that you have a valid copy of the DVD or CD. So yes, this took a while as well, so I fast forwarded it once again a hundred times the normal speed. And then once it was finally just about done, well, it's almost done. <laughs> there we go. Now the game was ready to begin. So at this point, just click into the window and press any key, and it'll go through and parse out the video contents. And then yes, it'll start to show up and Yes, you could play it on your PC as well. But that's not what we're interested in. We want to play this on our handheld device. So we're going to close out here. And then we're going to close out of Daphne. And we're going to move on to our next step. That is to download FFmpeg. So we're going to go here and click the Download Builds button at the bottom. And we'll go ahead and download it. And now I'm going to right click it and go to cut. And we need to create this directory here. So we're going to go back to our Daphne folder. Say new folder. And we're going to type ffmpeg. Press enter. And we'll go into that directory and paste the archive. And then we'll go ahead and right click and extract it. All right, 
So now we've got everything extracted. If you go to the bin folder, you'll see the FFmpeg executable. Now we'll right click on the Windows button, click run, and then type CMD, press enter. And now what we want to do is copy this command here. It's basically going to pin the path to FFmpeg bin. And then from there, we're going to copy this command, which is basically a change directory to the VLDP DL directory. And we're going to type layer. And this is the location where the game is copied. So now we are going to go back to the directory here. And this is optional. I like making a backup copy of the original before I convert it. Go to layer. M2V and copy it in the ORI directory. Next, we're going to run these commands. The commands will format the video such that they play very well on the PocketGo version 2 or RG350. So we'll just right click in here, press enter, and it'll convert the video. And I'm fast forwarding it once again, five times the normal speed. And once that's done, then we're going to swap over and copy the second command. You can right click or press Control C and paste in here. Go ahead and say yes to overwrite. And there we go. Our files are converted. All right, so now what we need to do is go to our ROMs on the micro SD card and I'm going to go to new folder and I'm going to type in a folder name of Daphne and then I'll double click in there and we'll go ahead and create some subfolders for our games so I'm just going to call it lair.daphne and ace.daphne Alright, so now we got our folders. Now we need to grab these three files layer m2v, layer.txt, and layer.ogg. And then we'll paste them in here. In addition, you'll need to locate the ROM for your game that you're going to play, in this case, layer.zip. It's also in the instructions, so we're going to go ahead and paste that in here. There we go. Now we have all the files on there that we need to play Dragon Slayer. The procedure is pretty much the same for Space Ace as well. The only difference is you have uh, slightly different commands to run, which are on the page. Alright, great. So it looks like we're now ready to start up one of our handhelds. We'll start off with the RG350. We'll pop in the micro SD card. And we'll turn on the unit. Alright, once powered up, we'll go to the Emulators tab, so we'll hit the right bumper, and we'll select Daphne, press A, and then we'll browse to the Media SD card, ROMs, Daphne, and then the game, Layer, and we are now almost ready. we got to hit the Start button. It says Y, but hit the Start button to parse the video. And I'll go ahead and speed this up just a little bit. And I think we're about ready to start playing. You guys excited? I know I am. It goes through a little boot sequence here. And then, voila. Dragon's Lair. And I'm going to hit the left bumper a couple of times to insert two coins. Remember, this cost 50 cents to play back in the day. <laughs> now we're going to swap over to the Pocket Go version 2 so you can see it playing Dragon Slayer. And please do excuse my lousy gameplay. I'm not very good at it yet, but I have been playing the heck out of it for the past several days. Plays exactly how I remember. And I play exactly how I remember. 
Actually, I'm probably a little better now than I was when I played it back in the 80s. It's all about timing. And if you don't get it right, you die. And this is one I always have a hard time with. Smack. <laughs> If you're interested in seeing this game playing on a TI-994A, I'll put a link up above so you can check that out. It's pretty cool. Really amazing, actually. Well, I'm out. So I guess we'll just go ahead and swap over to Space Ace. What do you say? We'll go ahead and insert two quarters, hit start, and we're going to check out Space Ace on RG350. I'm slightly better at this game than I am Dragon Slayer. It's not saying much. And the video quality looks stunning on the actual device. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, goodness. I always mess up right there. I will not surrender. I'm gonna keep going. At least for a little bit till I run out of lives. <laughs> you no, know I won't. Hey, here we go. It's about the furthest I've ever gotten. I don't know what to do next. <laughs> well, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Daphne emulator on the Pocket Go version 2 and the RG350. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button to let me know. And if you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, we shall talk to you very soon.